Twitter's got to breathe. And people on Twitter have got to learn what use cases AI has in the industry, how it's being used, what it is in general, AI use on storefronts, and the rule sets that guide them currently, and what plagiarism is. Because holy shit, I don't know if you've been on Twitter, but man, if people were having the same thought process that is I'm seeing right now on Twitter back when Spaceballs came out, I, I think everyone would lose their goddamn minds. I'm going <laughs> to be honest. It is ridiculous. The amount of misinformation that is going around about the developer pocket pair using AI assets for this game and almost malicious levels of apparently ripping off Pokemon is I don't I, I, I am genuinely baffled at it just no proof that they're using AI generative content they said they aren't but because they're one of their previous titles used AI which I'm, I'm gonna say something I don't think it should be controversial here uh so I, 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 I the whole situation has me even more so wanting to triple down on my I don't I don't want to use Twitter like I, I know I'm probably gonna cut myself off from you know quick and easy access to any like developer or someone who wants me to check out their thing or play their game or but I, I just don't think Twitter's worth being on I'm gonna be honest the environment on Twitter is so disgustingly up its own ass I do not understand it quit Twitter best decisions I've made in a long time yeah, but the problem is like I have to I have to use a lot of these platforms or keep them available for promotional purposes or for the business side of stream. People just like something to nag on doesn't matter uh, what nor why. There are so many more things that this energy could go through go to that are genuine real problems. But I guess it's easier to go yo Pal World uh, ripped off Lycan Rock. Look at Dire Howl. It, it's it's a dog, and Lycan Rock is a dog, and they're the same. Granted, before anyone in a YouTube comment <laughs> comes at me with the, did you see the webums that are being posted of the models being lined up, and they're almost exactly the same? Nothing definitive has still came out about that. I have seen both 3D modelers and not 3D modelers go. Yeah, this can happen when you're using them as heavy references. They've changed it enough that it doesn't count as plagiarism, probably. It's still probably fine. So we'll wait and see. And if I eat my words on that, I eat my words on that. But God damn, just it's incredible right now. I'm keeping Twitter in case something happens to my YouTube channel. You should keep Twitter in general just so people can reach out to you if they need to. Like my my. Like if I if I need to talk to a developer or a dev, a dev wants to message me, like it's there. I use AI AI as I took uh as I took to help with my disability. Yet the school doesn't let me because it's AI that's cheating. Bro, my school knows we use AI for programming. Everybody's like I, I'm I I used AI in every one of my last like three jobs. Like we all did. Every developer was using Chat GPT and we were openly talking about it. Nobody was being shamed or thrown under the bus for using it it's a tool and people are going to use it to exploit in an exploitive way if they want to i've talked about this last stream but it's not even the ai thing that's annoying me it what's annoying me on twitter is the goalpost moving of someone saying it's ai someone posting actual evidence that no we don't have proof of that Stop spreading misinformation and then it changes to well they ripped off pokemon designs and then someone goes well actually it's closer to parody and then it turns into yeah but the game has slavery in it 
Have you played GTA? Have you played any open world sin that lets you be a gross person? You can be disgusting in any game. And then the goalpost gets moved again and again. And it's just where, like, it's where intellectual discussion literally goes to get crushed into a ball and thrown into a garbage disposal. Usually here it's an echo chamber of sorts. Oh yeah, no, Twitter is literally. Um, that's the thing that's really annoying is it's easy on Twitter to get yourself into an echo chamber and not notice it. And then if Twitter is your world, if you do not go outside, and I mean this genuinely, if you don't go outside, if you don't connect with everyday people and you don't have a life, Twitter is your world and your world is that echo chamber. But if you don't have a, a, a genuine connection with actual people around you, where the concerns on the- a human, the game says it's inhumane and not promoting slavery. <laughs> It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to, to people on Twitter. It's very easy to take these minor blow up issues on Twitter as gospel and the most important thing in the world right now when literally Twitter is your world. When the internet is your world, when your bubble is your world, it's very easy to. Nobody gives a shit about anything mentioned on Twitter almost 90% of the time. I would say 99, but I don't think that's fair. People don't like Power World because they're mad on X.com. I don't like Power World because I don't have friends and it has no soul. I think it has soul. I I think it has I think it has a lot of like fuck it we ball energy. It's weirdly well made. It's real. It's oddly well structured. Power World is very strange, and I I'm still trying to submit my thoughts on it. Power World is very interesting because there was a game developer that I saw talking about it. Um, I'll post a thread in the Discord if anybody wants it. But there was a game developer I saw talking about Power World and his entire point was we can focus on the fact that the, yes, they are parodying Pokemon very heavily. Yes, they are. They're parodying the world building visually that you see in from soft games yes but the thing about power world that is the most unbelievable part is they got all of this to work together seamlessly you have the pals roaming around you have the capturing aspect you have the survival aspect you have the base building aspect you have the battling aspect and somehow all of those work perfectly Somehow they got them all to kind of just blend together and there's no breakdown between the mechanics. They all kind of work, which is wild and insane. And I have to agree. Let me see if I can find the, de the developer. Um, Nintendo could never. Nintendo is a very iterative developer. I don't think it's fair to just say Nintendo wouldn't make a game this insane. Because I'll point to Breath of the Wild being made up of 20% mechanics from Skyward Sword. And Skyward Sword is the beta test for a lot of those mechanics. Uh, I want to see if I can find this, this tweet from this developer, though. Yeah, here it is. Um, I don't know if we want to read through this whole this whole Twitter thread. Um, let me see if I can find it on here. I found the tweet. I want to see where a good place to start would be. Okay. We just start at the top with it. I think we just start at the top. it sucks to even use humans they do very little definitely has a soul um yeah it works better than Arceus Nintendo could never can't wait for people to add Palmons to Valheim oh wait so I just realized I'm not mod anymore wait why are you not mod are you on a new account how do I mod you how do I mod you easily why why do I have to type in slash mod There you go. 
So here, we can read through this real quick. Um, uh, the original tweet was, I have actually lost followers over Power World Discourse. People are losing their minds over this game and getting so angry, and I'm just confused. I think you timed me out yesterday. It was because of that. Oh, okay. Timeouts make you lose mod. That's funny. And one of the developers on Deathloop who worked on Dishonored also. So two games that you guys might know. This is him. He responded. Yeah, I'm surprised by how quickly this is escalating. I'm trying out. Try to organize my own hot takers thoughts in a thread, separating concept, execution, and dev. First, it's not a Pokemon-like game. Digimon is. And even if it was, so what? Cries in FPS, Battle Royales, Souls, and Hero Shooters. What this game is, a survival game outwardly, from the dev's mouth, inspired by Ark and Rust. Its main hook is how much it imitates, references, parodies, and efficiently blends design and concepts from successful games Pokemon, Breath of the Wild, Elden Ring, Minecraft, Fortnite, at minimum. I'll pause here to point out how eerily it blends all of these together. Artistically, spatially, and mechanically, it sometimes feels like you are in a chimeric fever dream logic where glimpses of games you spend too much time in appear in flashes of deja vu and never disappear. Game-wise, a shocking thing that no one is talking about is... Com Compared to Ark, Valheim, etc. How approachable it is. Uh, anecdata, I guess anecdotal data. For two of the friends I'm playing with, it's their very first survival game. And one is very casual. But in a couple of hours, we were all having a lot of fun. I start with this because it's one thing to have a lol this for real pitch. It's another to put in the work like they did, both in sheer variety of elements slash concepts and in the execution at this scope slash quality ratio for an early access launch from a Japanese indie studio. As a game designer, I'm baffled that some of this is, that some say this is lazy. Even if you copy an idea from another, <laughs> even if you copy an idea from another game, you can just, uh, you can just, if you can copy an idea from another game, you can just, you, I'm assuming this is you can't, but I'm gonna read it as he has it written. You can just copy paste it. Even doing a sequel to your own game with the same programmer in a new engine, it takes a crazy amount of time to develop a viable version 2.0 of a mechanic. And this new element, mechanic, art concept, etc., now has to work together with a ton of other new things. Catching a creature to use it in combat exists in Pokemon and in SMT and Xenoblade, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles. Base building exists in Ark and Fallout 4 and Fortnite, but making sure it plays well together, the specifics of the three C's, feedback, balancing, etc. I'm not sure what the three C's exactly are. Makes it that taking two things and smashing them together in a way that works and is approachable to the mainstream players is not an easy feat. If only for that, I take offense and lazy being thrown out. Now, the Pokemon with guns, did this game pretend it was anything else other than a parody of Pokemon? It even has an angle with it, quote, here is the blind spot of your children's fantasy, end quote. And it commits to the bit in the mechanics, narrative, art, etc. It is well made if you approach it candidly. Sure, the Okinoclast, cruel, uh, cruel, oh my god, I can't talk. The Okinoclast, cruel humor that is here isn't for everyone. But were we as harsh with Cult of the Lamb? Wasn't Slime Rancher self-aware? Isn't that what we expect from art slash entertainment? To take risks and not be toothless vanilla propositions that respect our comfort zones all the time? Art design, I'm not a jurist, but as someone said, cute monster parading Pokemon has a range. And in terms of direction, why should you make it very different from the material you are parodying? Should Spaceballs, uh, should Spaceballs design be more different from the movies it parodies? This is Spaceballs up here. This is Spaceballs. That's Darth Vader and that's Dark Helmet from Spaceballs. There is also something to be said about characters from games, even without an outward parody intention being very similar. None of us should throw the first stone here. And again, it's besides the point since it's on the nose slash earnest referencing or parody. And then he linked an article with a bunch of main characters. 
top tier dev. Hot take sells you read a book to us. I think I would die. I need to get better at reading. I did think about like doing something like that a long time ago, but I gave up on that. <laughs> this was before stream. Use of AI. I'm a bit iffy, but we'll try this quote as of now, end quote, good faith argument. Has anyone proved that generative AI has been used for this game? If it is suspicions based on opinions of this indie studio's creators, I think I'm more ill at ease by the discourse around here. This studio did a game using AI and were earnest about it. Why should we assume that they're hiding it in Pal World? Suspicion is legit, but I'm ill at ease with it being thrown around as fact. It's misinformation. Ironically, a thing we all fear AI will cause. And the fact that the creators are interested in AI well, a lot of publishers slash groups also expressed interest, <laughs> acts natural, and we are not scrutinizing all of their announces, releases, or accusing them. Are we allowing ourselves this because it's a Japanese indie studio? Now, if tomorrow it's proven it's a different debate, don't get me wrong, and you'll see me slightly disagreeing from the sidelines. I hear it's too much to ask of Twitter to be reasonable. But this place is the sum of every one of us, and we should never stop encouraging reason. And lastly, the flavor I have seen people finding the parody tasteless slash edgy, etc. I guess that's the risk with humor folks and why people actually take risks with games with comedy at the center. We all know it's much more complicated to please everyone, but I'd argue it's good. It works for me. Maybe it's cultural and my being French slash attuned to Japanese humor, but as someone who always found mechanics about collecting living beings to use them in gameplay very creepy, even in big popular games, seeing it turned into or er, turned up to 11 in a well-made game cracks me up. To conclude, details aside, we always say imitation is the highest form of praise. When being given more of what we love, heard it plenty about souls like for instance maybe let's just be tolerant and accept different people love different things i'm not saying you should love that game i find it fun and well made and appreciate it's trying a tricky balance between appealing and challenging your comfort zones for all the copycat talk this is very unique and the fact that it can be successful is why i love indie games and whether or not power world is your jam remember that in the end it's all about what entertains you this is there is not a shortage of options to play. Don't feel like you need to shotgun any game that is successful and doesn't appeal to you personally. Let others enjoy theirs and enjoy playing your games. That's basically like my, honestly, this is more eloquent than I could say off the cuff. Here's the thing that people are pointing out that I also am curious about. Where was all of this two years ago when the first Power World trailer dropped and we saw characters that we all I remember the comments. We all went, oh my God, that's fucking Pikachu. That's literally X Pokemon. Two years ago, we all did that at the reveal trailer at the Game Awards or wherever they dropped it. I don't remember where they dropped it. Where was the discourse then? But no, oh, it came out and it's really popular and really good and now people are hating on it? What, a, just, what an emotionally immature response to it. Uh, you want me to boil it down to a single sentence? I feel like it's a lot of emotional immaturity. First trailer was four years ago. Was it four? There you go then. Where was it then? Didn't expect it to make it to a real release, to be honest. Oh no, everybody was apprehensive. It's Pocket Pair. They made Craftopia. Everybody was apprehensive about what they were coming out with. Popular shit gets hate. There's always new Justin Bieber. Yeah, but it, I, we talked about this yesterday. I feel like Twitter's getting worse. I feel like it's genuinely getting worse because I feel like, I don't know, maybe with how bad the site's gotten after the transition to Musk, I feel like maybe I have no evidence to base this on. All the like people that don't want to be around the, the, the bullshit have left, and now it's just the people that like play in the mud. <laughs> 